All right, so as you guys know, I already replaced the low slash high beam bulbs, both of them. And now I'm installing uh, these ones just like as a preventative maintenance for the next owner. So it's gonna be these uh, hella ones. They're literally, this is the one I just pulled out. I mean, it looks in a great shape, but I just wanna replace it. I'm gonna replace the rear tail lamp uh, bulbs too, all of them. Just that way, you know, the next owner is not gonna have to worry about it. And it's all gonna be awesome and working. So what the new one looks like, it's simply just plug and play. So I'm gonna connect it and then uh, reinstall the cover on the headlight assembly. All right, cover is going back. Bulb is reinstalled. Amazing. So whoever was messing here they they glued or some some kind of they used sealant or something to install this so i cannot get it out and i'm gonna have to take this headlight out because i don't know how but it's it's like busted and stuff it's pretty weird just on this side so i'm gonna have to work on that Okay, now I'll be changing the taillight bulbs. Uh, there's actually one, two, three, four. So four in each assembly. And I already replaced these little ones, as you guys remember. So those are brand new. And now I have some more new ones like that with single filament. So I'll be changing those, those three on this side and those three. And here's, I have six of them. Have new ones ready. There you go. All of them were replaced. So I was actually wrong. There's actually one more bulb that's supposed to be here, and on mine it's missing. So it's that one of those little ones. All right, it's, it's still it's there on this side so i'm gonna i think i have two brand new ones i'm gonna install those here they are brand new ones ready to install here it is all of them are installed now we can test them same with this side this is all working it's all working I can check the brake lights later, but it's all good. Let's go check the front. Yeah, that's all working. Now at least the headlights are pointing down, not up into the satellites or whatever, into the different planets. So, cool beans, boom. simple to remove this assembly you know change the bulbs and all that all right guys so uh, I removed one of these uh, kind of I don't know what they, they're called but like brackets basically from that side and I cleaned it all up and I sanded it I'm gonna be painting them I'm gonna put primer on and then I'm gonna put some nice silver paint so that way they will never ever corrode and they're gonna be looking really nice and then later on I'll do the same to this guy because I'm getting ready to replace the shut mounts I'm just waiting on the dust boots to come in and then yeah it's gonna be really nice Okay guys, this is the next day and we're gonna be replacing the strut mounts, brand new strut mounts. And I also got the shock absorber boots, dust boots. 
sway bar bushings in the front all four pieces and then this is the automatic transmission uh shifter bushings so I have a lot of things to do and I still have to remove the um, fender liner on this side. All right, so this is what I wanted to add. I wanted to add these boots, the dust boots for the shock absorbers. So that way shock absorbers don't, don't go bad prematurely. Really, really, really important on W201s and W124s and any other cars. You know, don't let just the shock absorber be naked like this one was. So we're going to go ahead, install this guy. And almost done, guys. It's awesome. So I have a new uh, strip mount ready right here. Uh, boot is installed and um, it's all good and stuff. Uh, I just wanted, uh, this is nothing crazy. I just wanted to add a little bit of uh, silicone sealant right here on these two sides, just to make sure that the water doesn't get in there whatsoever. So I'm gonna remove this one and install this brand new one with the boot and it's gonna be protecting our amazing Bilstein shock absorbers. Here's the old one. It's all original, super cracked up. It's pretty insane. 189,000 miles. The battery tray was I'll clean up from rust, repaint it, and now uh, I put this grease and I'm ready to install it. As soon as I install it, I'll put grease on top of that. And it's gonna be all amazing and preserved. It will never ever rust out. Okay, there you go. Now I just have to install those three nuts. Actually, those two nuts in the back and the last one right there is gonna get installed once the battery holder is in place. Battery is in place. I'm gonna install the keeper. I restored it and painted it nicely. Okay, so I also took out the license plate lamp assemblies and I'll be cleaning them really nicely. And then I'll replace the bulbs. The bulbs are right there. And I just wanna replace them because I already replaced these bulbs. I want to replace everything. I still have to replace the bulb right there. Uh, so I'll do that as well. All right, guys, take a look at these. They're so clean now and I can go ahead and reinstall them. Uh, and uh, yeah, they're going to be looking amazing. Super clear now. So this trunk bulb has been missing. So I got a brand new one in my hand. That's the number. And I'm gonna install it here. There we go, got the bulb and I had to tighten this prong uh, a little bit because it was loose. Now it's all tight and good. And now we can also test the, uh, the trunk button right here and it's all good. Amazing. I can reinstall this baby back. Carefully. have to take it out again just try it this way first like that there you go a lot better now perfect brand new bulb saving all the history in the world <laughs> 